podcast before the video starts, I want to shout out V Dr. Big V. If you want a shout out like him, subscribe to my channel and comment down below. Anyway, on to the actual fight. Hello and welcome, this is Waffles1738 here, back with another video. And basically, in this fight, there is K16 um, against K15, so... 1416 v 1415 and you can see a lot of battlefield um, fight well, there's a lot of fighting going over on this side of the map right now and so ball from 1416 and trying to build a flag to cut off 16k from 1416 and the whale in 16k called Santa Claus um, he is soloing the flag with a few others which are taking heavy losses it looks quite positive for them at the moment except some armies from 16k will be sent home soon so you can see Cat and Osama Carve like um, soloing with Santa and then reinforcements Mac and Shannis are going into the flag but it's a little bit too late for reinforcements it looks like Lisa Heen should probably get in the flag instead of attacking or the flag is going to be gone but they do have lots of resources so it doesn't actually matter and the flag is destroyed so there is some open field fighting with Santa Claus and Lisa Heen a lot of T5 involved here it's T5 on T5 and Santa Claus is backing out and telling his um, alliance to follow him because they are outnumbered and you see Naughty Boo there from Zero he is Mr Boo's second account and he has 110 million power if not more so you can see 16k um, getting onto their own territory and then Kamiyu is being um, attacked by 45 armies which is definitely going to hurt him a lot and Santa Claus is waiting outside Cat City and there's some battlefield fighting where 16k is running away and they've both backed off to their own territories now um, Santa Claus is running after WD sister one of the armies has caught up but he is losing on that trade um, and his power up is gone and he can't catch up anymore so he will stop his army and now I will go on to the next fight that I have recorded so there's some more open field fighting going on here and you can see Baby Zong and yeah, some, uh, some inappropriate name with 30 million power. I uh, I know that because I searched out because he is very powerful when I saw him on the battlefield. Um, and they are just trying to get uh, the opposition off their lawn and kind of just protecting their land. So there was um there was a lot of points like this so you can see cat here who is jumping out his city all the time and um they are very powerful and people reinforce them and then jump out and then help fighting as you can see here um they have better members fighting on the field but ball just outnumber them in this fight they have more players to fight so you can see 16k people just kind of lining up on their border and just stopping ball from going onto it and they also get the territory buff that way so uh, it's good for them so you can see cat here again um soloing with naughty boo uh, it's a one on four um and they aren't doing bad at all uh, definitely dealing a lot more damage than taking 
So you can see Shanez and WD Peacemaker attacking, but then um, they decide to back into the, um, the city. So you can see um, Baby Zong and Cat and um, someone else jump out to fight. Um, yeah, and Bye Bye is getting really low. And Bros goes in to join the fight, and Mac and Marquise, and um, they're going to soon be outnumbered, so they will jump back into their cities, I'm pretty sure. So, you can see Baby Zong backing out, and then he will jump out again to attack another army. Um, it's five on three, I'm pretty sure, at this point. Um, more people from Boar go to join the fight. Um, Ket and Baby Zong jump out to attack Shanez. So, um, WD Peacemaker is not um, paying um, attention, so isn't actually attacking them as they jump out. So, because if um, they were. Uh, they definitely do a lot more damage and make 16k back off into their cities because um, they have T5 but uh, no T5 is currently fighting and you can see WD Peacemaker is fighting again now and will make them go back into their cities um, and they won't be coming out anytime soon um, they don't want to face the T5 so they jump in their city and you can see um, the last member of 16k backing into a city. Here is some more fighting. Santa Claus came out of the city um, for a little bit. And then you can see uh, there is a little fight by the flag. Um, it looks like 16k are outnumbering Boar on this side. Some T5 support goes over to that area to try and help uh, Boar. Uh, so it makes 16k back off into their cities. So they go home and that's the end of that fight. On to the next fight which um, you can see here. Uh, Baby Zong jumps out of Ket City to attack Bye Bye, and Bye Bye is taking a lot of damage. And that's a great trade for 16k there. And um, they just jump out of their cities. If you go close to one of their cities, you will take unneeded losses and unnecessary losses. So you can see they're all jumping out now. Um, and Lisa from Boar is going to surround the city to try and intimidate them. Ket is trying to lure them to the city so others can jump out onto them. Um, so Bye Bye is being soloed by um, uh, by Baby Zong and some other people but Lisa makes them jump back into their city. And you can see there's a good trade going on and Lisa is backing off um, right now because the trade is not in her favour especially since she's got T5 and they're only losing T4 so you can see here um, that there is quite a big brawl because a lot of people are jumping out of Cat City and he is taking not too much damage and he's um, they've got AOE commanders which is very helpful since they have less numbers so they can do deal more damage to the opposition and they're trading a lot more so bye bye has taken a lot of damage already and is already getting targeted the thing is a lot of them get too close to the city and it makes them an easy target for about four or five very strong t4 armies to jump out on them and that will make them lose a lot and if it's t5 it's going to take a lot to heal so they've got to be careful with that so you can see a lot of people get involved to help Boar, so they just jump 
back in their cities. So, Shannon's is being attacked here. Check-in from Zero is coming in to help. And 16k back off into their cities, except for Ket, who decides to take a fight. And Baby Zong fights Zero. Check-in. They just back in and go out as they please, really. Um, it's a smart tactic, and it does work for them. And they manage to make them take a lot of losses. So you can see they're jumping out here and all targeting baby uh, check-in from zero. And one of them has got separated from the others. Um, so that's not good. They've lost one more fighter there. Baby Zong jumps out of Cat City to attack Marquis Samba. And you can see the losses are in 16k's favour. As they back off, um, 16k it allows them to attack them without taking much damage because since they aren't targeting them, um, it doesn't make them take too much damage. So you can see check in from zero here where there's two armies attacking Ket and then Baby Zong and some other players try to stop uh, the advancement and attacking of Ket. So you can see that a lot of the armies fighting here are half health or below, except for one of them, which is Richard, and is now backing off with his other armies. And you can see they're getting a bit split up here, and they their numbers are going down. And um, this tactic has been working for 16k, and they've done it well. So you can see EBR Sa burning the flag because there's no reinforcements in it and six, uh, four armies jump out to solo um, to swarm Shanez and he is taking a lot of damage and will have a lot in the hospital to heal that's a lot of time and a lot of resources when you don't pay attention to your troops you can't get away and Shanez should really be paying attention so um, he doesn't take as many losses because T4 uh, still takes a lot to heal, but T5 takes even more So you've got to be careful and wise with your troops or you're just getting unnecessary losses so You can see that zero check-in is coming over to try and help again Although he has marched a while on one of his armies. It's already half health so Yeah, another arm, um, another person is for 16k is ported in and try to help. It comes at night is T2 and T3 and wow well, I mean takes a lot of damage and shouldn't really be fighting here. Um, their troops are nothing matched with T, uh, T4 and T5 that there is on the field. So you can see that Zero and Boar are having a little fight, which is bad because they are allies, they're from the same kingdom, yet they're still fighting. And 16k will take this, uh, take advantage of this. Uh, they are happy, they've taken losses against their own side. You really shouldn't be doing that, you need to focus on your troops a lot more, because uh, you're just taking very unnecessary losses there. So you can see Baby Zong and Li Tam Zong jumping out their cities to attack Check-In. Mac tries to intervene, but ends up taking a lot more losses than um, 16k, so decides to back off. So you can see Boar getting ready to burn the other flag there when their flag is built. And anyway, thanks for watching. Please do leave a like on the video and subscribe to me, it would mean a lot. Anyway, thanks for watching, goodbye.